understanding ratio analysis just like the status of our health can be measured by using statistics such as body temperature and blood pressure etc in the same way the status of the company's financial health can be measured by using various ratios let us understand how they help indicate health of a company's business analyze and evaluate the performance of a company's business perform trend analysis and do competition benchmarking we need to take a look at five dimensions to evaluate the overall financial health of the company profitability return liquidity leverage and valuation now let us understand the liquidity ratios current ratio it depicts how well the company would be able to finance its short term liabilities using short term assets higher ratio indicates that the company is in a comfortable position to pay back quick ratio it is a more stringent ratio which excludes inventory from current assets as it is considered relatively illiquid it is a true test of company's payback capabilities in the short term and hence it is called acid test ratio let us look at what current assets and liabilities are cash in hand bank balance receivables from sales inventory and short term investments are examples of current assets short term debt amount payable wages payable and interest accrued are examples of current liabilities the more volatile is a company's business higher is its level of liquidity needed to cushion itself from business uncertainty it is important to keep in mind that due to seasonal variations liquidity ratios vary significantly over the period of the year so it is important to note the time when the liquidity is being looked at let us now move on to profitability ratio ebitda margin This ratio measures how much cash the company generates from its operations per every rupee of revenues earned. Higher EBITDA margin indicates better performance of the company. Net profit margin this ratio measures how much money the company earns from its business per every rupee of revenue earned. The higher the ratio, the more effective a company is at cost control and generating higher profits. coming to profitability revenue from sales less direct cost to manufacture the product is equal to gross profit gross profit less operation cost or cost incurred to perform day to day activities is equal to ebitda or earnings before interest taxes depreciation and amortization ebitda less all expenses including depreciation and amortization interest and taxes is equal to net profit companies with improving profit margin over time are bound to outperform the market you need to take a closer look at one time expenses or changes in debt level as they influence margins let us now understand returns coming towards returns ratio return on equity It is the amount of profit the firm generates for every rupee of amount invested by shareholders. High ROE ratio indicates higher returns for shareholders. Return on capital employed. This ratio measures how the company is utilizing available capital to generate profits. Here, EBIT is earnings before interest and tax. a higher return on capital employed ratio indicates that the company generates more earnings per rupee of capital employed return on capital employed roce should be greater than the cost of borrowing if company pays 10% interest and earns 5% returns it is not a good sign valuation ratios Valuation ratios give a comparison between the current stock price and the company's ability to make profit. For valuation, one of the important ratios is price-earning or PE ratio. PE ratio 
tells us how much an investor is willing to pay for company's earning power. Price earnings ratio is an important valuation ratio. High price earnings ratio may indicate company is overvalued and its price may come down due to market forces. On the other hand, low price earnings ratio may indicate undervalued stocks with good growth potential. Coming to leverage ratios. Leverage is use of borrowed capital to increase the potential return of investments. Debt equity ratio. This ratio indicates how much debt has the company taken per every rupee of shareholders money. Higher ratio indicates higher risk. Debt ratio. It represents the percentage of total assets that are financed by debt. Higher ratio indicates higher risk. Leverage ratios give an indication of company's long-term debt standing and debt equity mix. For example, debt ratio indicates how much of the assets are financed with borrowed money. Lower ratios indicate good standing of the company from the debt angle. Liquidity measurement ratios like current ratio, quick ratio and cash ratio are used to check whether the company can pay its short-term liabilities. Margin ratios like net profit margin represent the firm's ability to translate sales into profits. Return ratios represent the firm's ability to generate returns on the various parameters like assets, equity and capital employed. Valuation ratios gives a comparison between the current stock price and the company's profit-making abilities. Ab investing simple hai. Know the performance of a company compared with other companies on various parameters and key ratios. Visit research ideas to know great ideas to make sound long-term investment decisions.